What's up, everybody? This is Ben from the Ben Herrera Show. Um, unfortunately, our guest couldn't show up tonight. So we are just going to have fun with who we are and what we do here at Black River Studios, the Ben Herrera Show. We got Malik and Tracy. What up? What up? Thanks for hey, hey, hey. thanks for being in the studio with us. Did you want to be okay? Yeah. Sure. Okay. And we got Marcos. What up, Marcos? What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? So it's been a tough week and it's only Monday. Yes, exactly. But we also got our sponsor. Let me get to that. We got Pure West. I always click the wrong one. Pure West, we got them as our sponsor. We got, they are located here in Holland. 9730 uh, Adam Street, right here in Holland, next to Love's. Get a hold of them. 616 99 or 772 9420. Get a hold of them if, if you need any more information. 616 772 9420. We also want to give some condolences out there for some of our friends and family who lost some loved ones uh, this past pretty much this past week. Um, Malik and his family, we want to give uh, condolences to you guys, to your family. Uh, because you know it is hard losing anybody um so definitely condolences to you guys yeah, yeah. so i really appreciate that brother for sure but, yeah. uh, it was it was probably one of the, one of the toughest hardest funerals i ever been to have it had to be at man like Somebody my age, um, somebody my age, man, just, um, just kind of eye-opening at the same time, man, you know, the lady got up on the stage, you know, and, uh, just say, you know, how... How important it is for us to take care of ourselves, man. Like, right. Come on, man. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's huge, bro. Like, I mean, you know, it can, it, we're not exempt. Nobody's exempt to what's happening out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? If we don't take care of ourselves, who will? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if not you, then who? Um, yeah, so, exactly. um, definitely was uh, a little eye opener that <laughs> that man just uh, a lot of crying man just a lot of just comfort it's the same time you know what i'm saying i just got to see a lot of family um i ain't seen in 20 years <laughs> mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying just like wow you know what i mean um yeah and and they, they, they still do that you've grown up so big yeah. <laughs> you say, I a you know what I'm saying? I was just holding you, man. I mean, bro, you were just yeah, a big dog. There it is. There it is. Yeah, so I got to go that one of my uncles, man. He was just tripping, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I was just good to see everybody growing old and growing healthy, still healthy, man. You know Amen. what I'm saying? Looking good, mm -hmm. moving around, still working. And, you know, um, but, you know, um, yeah, man, we had to put my cousin down, man. The rest of your cousin. And, um, you know, but I know how he is, how he was, and he wants, he wants us to keep it moving, man. Right. He was a hustler, man. He was all about making, making his money. He always finding a way to hustle. Same job since he was 18, 17 years old. Oh, wow. Never had another job. Mm -hmm. That's it. Same job. You know what I'm saying? Same exact job. So, you know, he was very, very committed, very loyal. You know what I'm saying? Um, had a little side business. Uh, and he was kind of a hoarder. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, that, but it was like, are fun. yeah, he had, right. store, he had like four storage units full of stuff. He just find deals on and he'll just put a storage unit and then they started selling it and they were making oh, yeah. great money. You know what I'm saying? So, um, mm -hmm. just, just, that was my man. So, uh, yeah. Um, thanks everybody, man, for the support, man. And, um, we as a family, man, we, we appreciate it. Like I said, and we, uh, we're going to make it, bro. We're going to make it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, our condolences to the 
to, to Michael, Michael Gonzalez's family. family. Yes. Um, there's yeah, actually some things we're going to post up here real quick. Um, so the Gonzalez family, re well, actually some friends have reached out to me um, asking if I could uh, put something on on our show uh, just to do a an announcement. Um, if you can, or if you know anyone that has empty cans just sitting around, laying around, or if you, you know, got a bag of cans that you don't want to take in, can you please call the Gonzalez family? There's a number up there that you can um, call, or you can call actually Andrea Valles, which um, her number is... I believe it's... 616-298-9101. And there it is, y'all. 616-298-9101. She would be glad to go in and pick up your cans mm -hmm. and just all that money that they're trying to raise is for the funeral, the funeral cost. Um, another shout out to, oh, I'm sorry. There is a GoFundMe page for um, Michael Gonzalez. Um, go on there and give a donation, um, whatever you can afford. That would actually would help as well. There's that picture. Look at that beautiful family. Yes. Um, you know, expenses from Michael Gonzalez are organized by Jessica Salas. Jessica Salas. And also, um, we have Lucy Silva. Um, we reach out to that family. Yep. And also Jim Hall, who passed away as well. A lot of people are dying so young, and, you know, just like Malik said, we can't take life for granted. we got to take care of ourselves. And I think I'm going to start running tomorrow because just... The stuff, stuff I've been eating, man, it's crazy. crazy. It's, it's been really crazy. crazy. It's, um, no, I'm not going to run. You know that. Probably eat a pie or something. All right. But, you yeah. know, it's just, we just got to pray for these families. Yeah. Take care of ourselves. Sure. That was a fat water response. That was a fat water response. <laughs> you know what I mean? So Malik has seen me eat, and he's, 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 he gets surprised every Let's time. Here, uh, people, is all this to me right now? <laughs> Hear me the hell out. You're looking at the wrong camera. I'm looking at the microphone. <laughs> and Markles at the same time. Markles makes me feel interested sometimes. Well, I put it down, boy. Look, he Okay, so we went to IHOP, and he uh, was probably finished before we were. Oh, yeah. And I was the last one to get the plate. Exactly. And you go to IHOP. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Wasn't she like, said, when'd you go to wow, she's, she's like, like that. When the hell did you go to IHOP? That's what she talking about. Yeah. So, back <laughs> so, <laughs> bad boy. Dang, her face was like, when did you go to IHOP? I don't know where to start, but the first time that I kind of noticed it was one night we were on our way to the crib. You know, I'm about to drop him off at the crib, whatever. He's like, that's not my Burger King, you know what I'm saying? So he grabs him two Whoppers. I know that. I remember that. It's the 13th now, 50th of May, Wahala, Michigan. <laughs> We're at the Burger King on 32nd in Michigan. Oh, yeah. And By auto, I'm by headed auto. to the gas station. Shell gas station. Gas, shell gas station on 60 not even Burger. A, oh, I was going to say, I thought you were going to say. A lot of time we got from Burger King. On Michigan to Shell on 16th River. It's a two-minute drive. I, oh yeah. I pulled up at the club. I hear I hear paper <laughs> like trash. I look over. I'm like, okay, he dealt with the first one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that wasn't the first one. I'm looking at him. I'm thinking. I'm looking around. And I'm like, yeah, we put that one in his pocket. I said, I want to fuck that one. He was like, I'm done, bro. I said, bro, you did not. Fries and two wrappers. Yeah, exactly. You did, did not just eat all the food. Hell yeah. Before we made Oh, it's on Michigan Ave. He said, I'm gone. It's gone. I said, Marcos, you hide burgers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know you hide them. You got some. He was like, bro, open the bag and shit, pour out both of the, the, the empty wrappers. I said, this one. He bro. did that to me, too. <laughs> so <laughs> we, stopped, we stopped at McDonald's on, on North River. <laughs> And remember that we I was taking. Oh yeah, I had I had uh, two double cheeseburgers yeah, and I had and I had a uh, six piece chicken, chicken nugget, piece, yeah. fries, and he a ate all a of that coat. and drank most of it before we got to his house, like up the road. It from was there. like not even a mile. 
Oh, oh, I was like, I even looked over here. Four four minutes. Minutes. Oh, I did time there. Remember, I said it was four you minutes. You're all now. Yeah, exactly. Four minutes flat. Mm -hmm. You guys feel uncomfortable. I'm watching. <laughs> don't don't try to know. I don't care. I will eat. I, I know you will. I just want. I have to see it. <laughs> I've never seen it. <laughs> all right, I see you. I see you buy it. And then I see the empty paper. I never actually seen the actual process. <laughs> Welcome, Carrie. Welcome, Courtney. Welcome, Henry. What up, Courtney? Henry and Henry. Oh, excuse me. 20, 20. Uh, That's Michigan. Up, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> so I was going to be so little. What the hell are you talking about? You know, it's the one out of Michigan. So the 29th. 29th. No, in Michigan. Be direct, 29th. 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 29th Michigan. Y'all know what damn Burke Shield talking about. Oh, it's 31st. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's 30th. Oh, no. Okay, thank you for joining in. We're going to head home and go eat a burger. Right, cake. everybody will be so literal about the damn location. Like, 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 how it's going away. No, I mean. Like, I'm we're in fucking El Los Angeles somewhere. <laughs> Wait, there's a North Hollywood location? Yeah. Or a Compton one? No. Compton one. No, yeah, Compton. I bet. What's up, Henry? Oh, Kiki! What up, Kiki? Kiki is going to be our new, one of our uh, newest so, photographers. Hey. Oh, right, no, 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 no. So, so, I'm going to, 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 i am going to 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 I'm, I'm not I am. Okay, go. Cool. This is a story. So, as a little kid, my mom would make a big, huge breakfast or dinner, or whatever it was, and my dad was always taking off, or we're always going to the store. Hurry up and eat. Oh, yeah. My dad was military. He was part of, you know, and he was like, hurry up and eat. You can taste it later. <laughs> so, it was slamming food. Yeah. And, and it just became a habit. Just mm -hmm. slam food, taste it later, smell it later. Just what my dad always said. So that's it. Just became a really huge habit was to do eat fast. Yes, Kiki, this is life. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. I think. Yeah, yeah, so so it became habit. Yeah, it just became habit. So um, the doctor was like, "I'm surprised your stomach didn't explode yet." You gotta get into that shit to even digest. Digest or that's why I eat slow because I wait for digestion. <laughs> It just went, it didn't even, did you even uh, taste right. any of it? Uh, you tried to taste it. I mean, it's just, it's just e-fest. That's weird. Bro, I mean, I, I, smash roll, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's just the, so, so when everybody, everybody gets their food, food I like to get mine last, because I'll still be done before you get up. You probably would. Wow. Yeah. Uh, we went Saturday morning with a couple of girls. Bro, you should have got that challenge. <laughs> I'm not going to be fat full when I had plans to do something else later. Wait, what? What challenge? And so, so it's a, uh, what was it? It's called the uh, uh, Farmer's Farmer's Daughter Challenge. Oh, it was a Desmond Challenge. It was a Desmond Challenge. I don't know if anybody understands what at the wooden uh, shoe. At the wooden shoe, they have a challenge. They have a, a, a twelve egg omelet. There's an omelet. It's a twelve, 12 eggs, twelve eggs, and all the fixings on the side. And, and it's like a huge toast, pancakes, all the French toast, the French toast on there, eggs, pancakes. Hash brown sausage bacon. Oh, there was something. Yeah, there's no way if you know, you got a certain amount of time to finish it. Or, or 45 minutes. It, 45 minutes. It is $26. It's 26 bucks for that whole thing. And then if you win, you know, you forfeit the 26 And you win a t-shirt, some wall of fame. Mm. Type of award, so. I think I have seen or heard yeah. something before. Yeah, nothing. Nuts, bro. So, so, so I, I'm picking up on my challenges. challenges so, so Fat Burrito has a challenge. Uh, Wendy's has that T-Rex challenge. challenge. McDonald's has a uh, challenge, and Wooden Shoe has a challenge. Um, it's called, I believe, it's a uh, twelve patty Big Mac. It's a Big Mac platter, and it comes with large, uh, two large fries, and it comes with this big twelve patty Big Mac. And then Wendy's has the T-Rex, which is um. Nine, nine nine patties with all the fixings and two large fries and a large coke. Um, that's actually that is twenty six bucks for that T Rex. McDonald's is thirty something dollars. The fat burrito is I think fifty bucks. And insurance is a hundred dollars. Right. right. <laughs> but I think I can do it. I know I can do it. You got. 
I think you could, but I don't want to see you do it, though, Marco. <laughs> I just, like, I'm gonna watch you. I'm, I just want to see you smash an average meal. Oh, that ain't nothing. Right. What's up, Xavier? How you doing? But oh my god, the you're child is beautiful. I can only, only imagine that. that fab, what, fab burrito, small burrito is a challenge to me. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Like, so what? But, but it's like this big because they just wrap a lot of stuff in it. But it's oh, small. a lot of stuff. Exactly. What the hell? But I keep one of those. Every so burrito eating. challenge has got to be stupid. It's, uh, I believe it's three pounds. Three pound burrito. That ain't sh- Nikes. Yeah, right. Three pounds. Did you see what I put away? But that's, that's not three pounds. A three pound burrito. A big ass uh, tortilla. Whatever, big Jager, ass tortilla, whatever. Grupo. Or all the fillings and stuff. The beans and all that shit. That have you lean to the side, bro. I'll be leaning, but I'll be finishing it. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so I was <laughs> I saw Ben earlier, and I just noticed this today. Rachel, how you doing? So I just noticed this today. So I'm taking a picture. I took, remember we, I took pictures of the cinnamon roll. How big was that cinnamon roll? Huge. It's still in my fridge. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's still in your fridge? Yeah, it's my fridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that picture. If you don't want it, let me know. I'll, I'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> but you, did I send you the picture or you still have it? You didn't send it to me. It's on your messenger. It, here. I'm going to, I'm just going to show Malik real quick. Wait, I got to find it. But. I'm telling you, dude, I didn't notice it until today. <laughs> he was cracking up. I'm about to look at this. What does it look like? That doesn't matter which way you look at it. Uh, oh, oh. You slow, man. Oh, you were fine. I noticed that. Are you, I... <laughs> so... Oh, it, you know, sorry, <laughs> this circumcised. Oh, sorry, <laughs> <cut. Damn. laughs> yeah. uh, so you know, it's I'm that's just, low. It's only all you. Oh, me. I mean, you, man. Like, dude, come on. I've been doing this for how long? Uh, a long time. Doing well, exactly. <laughs> comedy, yeah. a lot of comedy. Is that what it's called? That's what it's called. <laughs> it's not gonna call it. That's called nasty. Why did you send it to me? So you can. So because people are like, why did they show him? So we're gonna show you real quick. What? Hold on. I can't uh, no, so I can't come on, man. <laughs> I took Malik out for breakfast. Um, we had we had company with us, and it was we had a lot of fun. Yeah. However, um, so the waitress came over, and we told her it was his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> And she said, we give out free cinnamon rolls for the birthday people, so this is what she gave them. <laughs> yeah, I, I just noticed this today. Like, I noticed it the other day, but I didn't say anything. <laughs> what the f- And then look at my Hell no. And I told you, you probably won't eat it. After you see it, you probably will. You just that's cut it in pieces, uh, <laughs> blend it in a blender. <laughs> Make it wow, smoothie, uh, smoothie roll, smoothie. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> you can take my food down there. <laughs> he said you can take it down now. Wait, it's, it's, it's not up yet anymore. That's <laughs> just because that's too. Oh, oh that, that, that is just. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> we've already. I'm gonna finish the other coffee. I can't do this no more. Look, this is not even back yet. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. My goodness. However, we, we had, had a great time over at Wood Shield. Guys, they do serve some really good food. Hey, what's up, Gary? 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know why the volume. I think it's because Marcos is yelling into the mic. I'm gonna, I, it it better. Says turn Marcos' mic down. I did. There you go. Hold on. I turned his off. <clears throat> so, speaking of delicious food, just thanking my cousin Lucero for her little snack she gave me today. It was a churro, cream cheese with bacon. Mm. You should share that picture, Sean. You want me to share that picture? Oh, you did it on yeah. Facebook? Yeah. Yeah. You saw what that was? Yeah. yeah, if anybody's been on my, if anybody's been on my page, they know. We're, we're talking about getting healthy and getting better. Now we're going to bring up all this fatty ass food. Hell yeah. I told okay. you, I'm a fat boy with some fat problems. Well, <laughs> you look well. I juiced this morning. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? My dad, my dad juiced. He's been juicing for a few years. So I, I thought you said jizzed. No, juiced. <laughs> so I was like, why would you get your ears out the gutter? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, but that's that's smooth, you know. That's why I can do. Yeah. <coughs> Move the mics away. That, that was in a good spot. Crazy. I the turned everybody's mic off. You know, I'm going to listen to it on my phone. Because I can hear it on my phone without it. Yeah. So, anyway. I don't know what's going on over here. Yeah, I know. Something turned up. Oh, so you dip it? Yeah. So you dip it and then. Oh, okay. Oh, you got to put it on. I put it on here. Oh. It's, like a, it's like a little salad. Dude, it's 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 amazing. It, like. It was just so you got your strawberry jam, yeah. which she put cracked strawberries in front, okay. like and then that's Nutella. Oh, yes, and then there's cream cheese in the middle, and she got churros that she made into a little oh, shake. Yeah, well, she put the cookie cutter. She made a cake out of the churros and cut it with the cookie cutter. Looks I'm fire. assuming I don't know what the bakery. I don't, I don't know what she does, but I don't know. It looks fire, dude. It was. I tell you what, that was the best, most. Wait, where's it at? Um, very licious. Um, sh- <coughs> he's got the card. She's got the card. Or she. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm thinking about the food and dessert. Yeah. I'm like, ooh, that food was just very nasty. It was awesome. Where yeah, she looks like? Uh, on the south side on 40th. How she does it out of her home. Oh, okay, I got you. Um, so, so the sensory center to her. Okay. Yes. So, um. If you guys want uh, to order anything, just go ahead and go on my page and just kind of click on it. She's got a menu up there. Um, you can actually order your food. And let me tell you, it's worth it. Mm. I was telling Tracy earlier, man, I was almost, I almost touched myself eating a Subway. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do with a pretty nice burger. <laughs> yeah. But it was really good. It was really good. Yeah. You yeah. Just yeah. Goes Whoa. <laughs> Say that shit again. Say it again. He goes overboard sometimes. Who does? There's no uh-huh. overboard. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 oh. oh, me? Are you? Who? Mar- oh, Marcos? I'm oh, listening okay to this. Him to him to to I'm trying to get the I sound. I rarely do that anymore. I know. Thank no, you. Stop it. I was talking we just had a talk to the other day. Yeah, I'm talking about on the show, Marco. Yeah. Yeah. Anything off the record. <laughs> <laughs> Anything off the show stays mm-hmm. on the show. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Have a good pleasure with business. Man, will you tell this man about himself? Come on now, Tracy. Wake the fuck up. Let's go. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, man. Um. <laughs> no. What? Not yet. I would do that with my personal friend. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Actually, no, this is not the show. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> um, I got something, though, I want to talk about. What? Nothing too major, but I got free draft tickets. I'm going to the fucking draft this year. <laughs> oh, I see. I went to go download that, and it wasn't. Yeah, man. Um, what month is it? it next month, it's April. Off? Hmm? It's off. Oh, I yeah. Think. Um. Is it in Detroit? In Detroit, man. I'm looking forward to that. It's uh, that's it's uh, like three days of madness, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm right there. I want to, but I'm trying to see what the what the end's looking like. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely want to at least go for the first day, the first round. But it's gonna be jumping. I it's about to be some. slapping. I think, we might... I think we can do something. I got a friend that works at a hotel over there. 
back and let's pop up his shoulder. And then we're, uh, let's, put, let's put a stand together because I'm, yeah. I'm trying to beat her. I know a couple, couple guys from Holland that's going, um, but I'm trying to beat her, though. I ain't gonna lie. So, I gotta get tickets, though. They just, like I said, they, if we act now, get the, <coughs> the free access, you know what I'm saying, to the actual Ford Field. Ford Field is what, 50,000 people? You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, around there. So, Something like that. 650 to 60. So there's going to be all the amenities going on, you know, the, the concerts and the, the, the you know, the, um, the uh, what do they call it, the ESPN, the zone thing, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. the interactive games and all yeah, that. Yeah. What do you call it, the red zone? Gonna be, like that. Of yeah. course, there's going to be mass celebrities there, like far as athletes, you know what I'm saying, oh, players yeah. walking around, you're going to see them at bars, you know, <laughs> you know Barry Sanders going to be somewhere around that bitch lurking. And the Smith. Probably not. But yeah. he might, but I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. It's gonna be all. It's gonna be a Detroit affair, man. So, uh, um, and what day is it? The f- Cause I want to go. Right. Cause I want to go. Uh, Jacob says hotel in Hookers. Let's go. <laughs> oh my wow. gosh. Oh, there you go. Hey, man, don't be putting our plan out there like that, Jacob. <laughs> Shoot, bro. You can't hold nothing to yourself. Move the mic. Oh, whatever. I don't know what to do. I th- like I said, this. I can't see anybody's comment. <clears throat> this program um, that I just updated, and I think that's what's going. Oh yeah, the twenty fifth, bro, the April twenty fifth, <clears throat> first day. Okay. Wait on a Saturday. Um. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to go anyways. I've already requested why? too many days off that month. Yeah, that's a Thursday, fool. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to. You might have to go buy your lonesome this month. Unless you go with me. Well, like I said, I'm gay. I would go, but... I'm gay. Actually, we might be in the studio by then, so... We probably should. We probably there. would be. But yeah, I thought about going out there and doing some live footage for the for the for us, you know. You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm more promotional, so we wear, wear our tire and... Screw it. Screw it. Let's go. I'm, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll go. Do what we do. I want to go. I'm going. Um, did you hear that, Renner Center? <laughs> oh, man. Boycott Renner Center. Yeah, right? um, just joking. But, uh. But, yeah, um, I'm just looking forward to it. I, I, I haven't, you know, I didn't make it to no Lions games last year, bro. I used to make it to at least one a year, you know what I'm saying? But I made it. Not even a preseason. And preseason tickets are like. They're cheap. Four dollars. Oh, yeah, it was just twenty five dollars. You know what I'm saying? Twenty five dollars. Yeah. You first first row. Huh? Airline, you know what I'm saying? So um there's no season on the show. Sorry. So yeah, man, just uh just mix it up this year. I'm about to move around a lot more this year. That's my goal, man. I don't wanna just I'm not gonna be just sitting in Holland, bro. I'm gonna move around. Um be mobile, man. You know well, yeah, there's, there's big plans for what we want to do. Yeah, the big plans happen, though. So, um, we about to see, man. We about to see. <laughs> oh, so on another note, you got y'all see, have y'all been uh, up on, uh, of course, you see Trump, this whole thing going on with him. <laughs> he got 10 days to pay a hundred and Seventy million dollars or something. That's Trump. It was Trump. Trump. It was three hundred sixty-four. They they chopped it down sixty-eight percent. So now he, he, he just gets to run the yeah, yeah, he he said, yeah, yeah, right, right, exactly. yeah. I said going his cup holder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's that. He got he cup holder. He got he got know, right? <laughs> he got he got t- he got t- <laughs> underneath his wig. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Right. Well, yeah. That's all, guys. It's too paid. You guys that. got cash <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Venmo. <All> right. <laughs> yeah. I can only do it half. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, y'all got change. Y'all Don't got use Venmo. Change. They'll charge him. Y'all got change for 180 million. <laughs> That's all I got. I need something back. I got 180 million dollars. I got my change back. Yeah. <laughs> right. Fifty-five cents. Yeah, yeah. I need all of that. I need all of that back. Yep. But like that, that shit's been crazy, man. He he been talking shit too, calling man. This is that's a lot of money for some hush money. Yeah. Right. Trump's exactly. still talking shit. But, well, Trump um, don't give he's, gonna, he's got money to pay twice. Yeah, he got yeah, money exactly. to talk shit. He's yeah, money exactly. to, he got he money to do whatever he wants. Yeah, you got, you got, you got. And money. he's gonna win this year. You got money. You got shit talking money. You got money to talk shit to the government. So man, fuck y'all. Y'all the, gov- y'all the government who? 
Yeah. I own money. you guys now. You know what I'm saying? That's actually, actually, I got more money than y'all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I don't go broke like you. Right. Yeah. How I got more money in my savings account than the whole government. Exactly. Like, this is I don't ever have to shut down. All right. right. <laughs> what, you spent, yeah. what, four days in prison? Yeah. Uh, I don't even think he did any prison time. He had jail time? Yeah, yeah. I don't think he ain't touched no damn jail. He ain't jail. Yeah. He only touched with some damn... <laughs> That's how you go make his money back. He's gonna do a couple commercials with Thresh Blood. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Did you just yeah. say that he tried to put Thresh Blood in his hand? The big thing right comes off. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Matt says, "What up, handsome men? What up, what, what up, up, bro? What up? And make sure you're talking to you too, Chase. <laughs> <laughs> you called Chasey a man. So uh, wait, what? But that's that, man. I was kind of but um, I don't know, another though, fucking punk at him. You heard him? Man. I get. He got raided. He got raided. Finally, he, he got raided, bro, for uh, his L.A. home, bro. Yeah. Fucking um, his New York and L.A. Bro, yes." Good. Sex trafficking. Wow. I knew that was going to happen. He was like crazy. Dude. Well, him and Epstein were right. in part of whatever was going on. They probably was in cahoots somehow. They so had they, to be. Man, that's it, bro. <clears throat> once, they get, once they get the correct records, mm-hmm. people, are gonna, people are going to get records, busted. Bro, oh, yeah. Probably is, man, that's going to probably be, honestly, bro, if they fuck, convict Puffy, bro, on some shit like this. I'm going to tell you what, bro. That is probably going to be, out of my 40 plus years on this earth, that is going to probably be the largest story I have ever heard in my life, bro. Epstein, fuck you. I really didn't even know who Epstein was until I knew who Epstein was. You know what I'm saying? Like, Epstein, OJ, Mm -hmm. R. Kelly, none of this shit is going to compare to what they did. Who who I can go back more, uh, Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby, yeah. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Um, Bill Clinton, no. like you know, what I'm saying Clinton, hey, all, all, then yeah, all the way back to uh, I heard Monica still under the deployment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Same yeah. dress with the dry <laughs> with the crusty. Yeah, pants. right. With the crusty crust. Yeah. <laughs> Today, all right, Tracy is the hottest man in life. <laughs> Damn, bro. Bro, that, that, that would be fucking epic, bro. Like that would change. Matt like, says, bro, he's going to get sent to jail. I, 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 the puppy's gonna, he's going to rat out everybody. Oh, yeah, he will. Then, I mean, Any I way to get, get his get busted, then They're going to find out how many people he was connected with. Mm-hmm. And then the next one, then the, the next Just thing gonna we're going to hear the news is Oprah getting raided. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I've seen, no, Puff Daddy is, or was it? Who's the other one that was in I've seen is the one who set up Oprah Winfrey. Oh, yeah, that's right. Now, that, no, now I said puppy, but Oprah going down, that'll do it. Now, mm-hmm. it's funny because all them girls came up missing from Oprah's school over there in Africa. Mm-hmm. In Africa. Wow. All, them mm-hmm. girls, all them girls came up stinking, just mm-hmm. missing. They get found dead, they get found. Oh, and uh, what do you call it? Those big old carriers overseas, the, the, the shipping yeah, container. Shipping container. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. I heard about that. One. Hey, how do you, how do, how do, how do, mm-hmm. how do hundreds of girls go missing from your school? Yeah, and you have no clue. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, um, like, and she sound. probably didn't even. She didn't even sound concerned. Sound free. I wish she Sound free. Yeah. Yeah, you not concerned. You know, I, I mean, like Matt said, you know, if he does go get, get jail time and is convicted of this oh he'll probably he'll probably get probably killed yeah he don't get unfortunately he don't get protected. you know it, he well, that get protected because oh, first no, no, no. Say he, finna, he ain't going to feel more he's not going to jackson yeah that's he's true. Got going straight fair time so yeah, high end federal true. facility Folsom prison you know what I'm saying? He's going to have his own room. He's going to have... He ain't going to San Quentin. Is that even still... He's going to have, ne- he gonna have, he gonna have Netflix and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, he'll be able to watch his own stuff. He's going to make it records. Yeah. He'll be watching his own show on, right. on Netflix. Like, oh, he got convicted. Burritos. For the facility. Burritos. Hot dog burritos. Oh, oh burritos. burritos. I thought you said Fritos. The whole... The best cook-ups... You know what? That sounds actually really good right now. Yeah, burritos with Fritos in it. Anybody want to join in in some uh, 
Make it in a Anybody fresh out of jail. No, no. <laughs> like, you know, I bring, I'm dropping the ingredients off, man. You can cook it up real quick. Yeah, exactly. That's not really good. We haven't done Foodie Friday in a while. Yeah. Epstein had his own room. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we were talking about, dudes. Yeah. That's what we were just talking about, bro. Like, that would be, that's, uh, that's crazy, man. Mm-hmm. That's nuts, bro. Like, well, and it's weird because I was watching, like, um, on ES or not ESPN? What the fuck? Why'd you just look up at the TV? Because I was thinking the TV was on <laughs> on YouTube, old '90s videos, oh, and yeah. that song um they did for uh for for Biggie for Biggie uh-huh. came on, and I was like, and now that I hear this, I was like, damn, who would have thought back then that that shit would be happening right now? Well, even you know that what stuff mean? that your song was what what was it called? Uh, behind the scenes for the kids. Oh, the Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon thing. Nickelodeon thing. Behind the scenes. Exactly. Dude, yep. That's what we just said. Man, that, that whole so aspect kind of, of how they treated kids and, uh, in front of the parents. Was, mm-hmm. no. The parents wanted the money, so they allowed it. They allowed it to happen. Like, what the fuck? Now, for the past few months, I mean, more than a few months, I mean, there's been different stories been coming out of Puff, about Puff. Mm-hmm. And he settled behind. He settled out of court with that one girl mm-hmm. who was going to write the book. And then uh, people who were supposed to, supposed to come out and say stuff about him. Um, Kim Porter, his baby mama, mm-hmm. dead. Their manager, traveling manager, dead. dude, dead. Then I forgot the, what the other dude role the was. The security guy, right? Dead, yeah, something like that, dead. Then Jamie Foxx, damn near dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just found in the hospital. Just not playing, bro. You can't play with Puff like that, bro. And I feel like, man, in retrospect, looking at it, I think that's the most thing Biggie was about to do. Mm-hmm. I think Biggie, I think, Could be. I think, I think Puffy threw that big. Biggie's like, oh, no, oh, Puffy. <laughs> you know, you ain't gonna get no. I don't get, and if you don't know, oh, now you know. Right, you know. Cause, <laughs> yeah, because Bo, because you know, Smalls don't get down like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Puffy's like, damn. This nigga about to, yo, yo, take that, take that. Then nigga about to, <laughs> he about to reveal me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, you know what I'm saying? Because... And it was just that they put it as a rival for two Yeah, yeah that was the other That's just a sidetrack. What, no, um, no, that was underlaid for the overplay, bro. What Miguel just said, too. Uh, Michael Jackson didn't turn away when Kurt Cobain was first arrested. Yeah. See, and that was... Like, Coffin was a big part of that. This is the thing, though. Yep. This is my thing. If your kid's been telling you that this has been happening, so why the fuck do you keep sending them back? Exactly. Yeah. Why do you let them keep going back? Yep. If you knew this, yeah. oh, what happened over there? Like, you knew, okay, after my kid told me a half the time. The Before you only finish go, that sentence. The like, only what? time, the next time, is, it ain't going to be no next time. The only, the only thing it's going to be is me knocking that Michael door, ringing that door, like, you know, who is it? Yeah, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. He doesn't see her right there. All right. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'll be yeah. that man in the mirror beating your ass. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh <laughs> my gosh, I love that. That's Ain't classic. no deal away, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, a lot of people think Michael Jackson got, you know, it was a, it was a lie, and he wouldn't do all that. What's up, Stacey? You know what I'm saying? But. What up, Stacey? I, I personally, like, as coaching, like, I'm, I'm close to a lot of kids that I coach. They see me in public. I'm like, oh, I'll go. They might come out and give a little hug and stuff. But, you know, so like Steve Harvey said a long time ago, I, I ain't got no nine-year-old friends. Right. I ain't no nine-year-old buddy. He's about some people coming on down and talking about, boo, boo, boo. Hey, is Steve here? You know what I'm saying? Is Steve exactly. still out of play? Get, get your ass with him, man. Pretend when he ain't right. right. <laughs> Mr. Malik, you want to come outside? You play with some cars? No, no, I have a car. Uh, but I gotta pay your car note on. You have a Macari. Pay his Illuminati dues. Oh, that's yeah. 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 That's probably what happened. Probably what happened. Yeah, he mm-hmm. was delinquent. <laughs> <laughs> Insufficient. All right. Yeah. Would, his check would, bounce. <laughs> would have paid his bounce due or the past due amount. Yeah. But he's I pay nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I pay nothing. And now look what happened. Daddy. Yeah. Uh-uh. He's daddy. Oh, that was, that was probably a very bad puppy. <laughs> Dude said, man, bro, Michael ain't touched them kids, man. Stop. Man, I don't think he did, man. I, really don't I don't think he did, did anything like I that. I just think it was kid. because of where it was. Kid. 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 I think Mike 
kid, uh, childhood got stripped away from him. Oh, yeah. He was a business kid, bro. Mm-hmm. He never had a really chance to to be a child, bro. And he was he, letting people be kids. Yeah, yeah, once he became, once they got that started, they was on the road. They doing shows. And I, they, what, I mean, they can I think Miss Gal hit that spot, but you don't have a, 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 a playground or an amusement park in your backyard. Well, that's the thing. Is like you know. I have. He had Macaulay, I had like well, like Macaulay Culkin. He was there because what I thought too was, you know, he's an actor. He probably doesn't have time to do that and just be a kid. Mm. So that's probably why he Michael Jackson brought him over there is to be a kid in this amusement park and see all this stuff but that he had. Also, Macaulay Culkin said that Michael touched him in places that he shouldn't have been touching. Him. But but was he paid? But what, exactly to, to you know that. to say that. By somebody else. The only one that could actually say anything would be Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin, if you, if you, yeah, right, you Macaulay Culkin, if you just put the crack pipe down, oh, and, uh, two man actually, room, he's, <laughs> he's been sober for like eight years now. If you take the needle out your heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! No, he actually cleaned up. I've, I've heard the story. Good Ah! Right. <laughs> but, still, <laughs> but like you know, oh, yeah. Yeah. me though, it must be rusty by now. And you know, you don't want to, you don't want to downplay somebody's story like that. Like, man, you lying, Macaulay? Shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, if you tell the truth, well, what if he was telling the truth? What, what if Michael? But there's always that what if. What if Michael did play the banjo with his people? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, what, what, what if Mike did? You know what I'm saying? You know, just be like, what? you know. <laughs> how do you do that? I'm just saying. I'm being funny, but. I don't understand how you would do that, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Of course you would. If the reach around underneath. Uh, of course you would understand, man. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and I could go on there. He did a shot. He took a shot. I, I can't even do that because he's got the thing down. No, I didn't. I turned it up. Okay, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, sex trucking? <laughs> sex trucking? You're right, Miguel. I don't, you're damn right, Miguel. I don't have a playground or a music park in my backyard, but I do. Uh, I, do coach, track. I, I do coach yeah. them all. I do coach them all, man. I've been on the road with kids, bro. I've worked at a skate all these years. I guarantee you, and then one of these motherfucking kids will ever say they got anything to say about Malik Brandon. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you, I've come around. Come across thousands of kids through this program, hundreds. You feel what I'm saying? And ain't none of them gonna got nothing bad to say about me, except for the ones I got. To How you say you broke? P. Diddy paid you, huh? Oh, I was that Joe's first three first all pop. Stacy, you probably got to click on the screen. Hey, uh, Stacy, I had the same message. You I had to click on the screen, come up. Click the live chat, and then yeah, it'll, it'll show up. Yeah, yeah, it probably would, Miguel. I mean, I ain't gonna argue with you, man. Right, I mean, he probably did. But the oh, thing okay. is, it's gonna go. Back. But the, that's the whole thing they said, Miguel, is that that's why the parents, the people, did that is to get that money out of Michael Jackson. Yeah, it's starting these false allegations, afraid to ruin his legacy, and the world. And so Michael's like, look here, is that your money y'all want? Here, here's some fucking money. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, if I'm not guilty, I'm not giving you motherfuckers nothing. Yeah, exactly. You look like I'm going to work on. No, you're fine. Uh, but if I if I'm not if I'm if I'm not guilty, bro, and y'all trying to blackmail me with money, you know, if you need money, I'm mean, I'm not gonna give you nothing. I'm just a fan. Right. You know what I'm saying? So this is this levels to it, I think, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Um Right. But out. I want to extremely twenty million dollars. <throat> Hey, they got, they got, I mean, money yeah, he has the money to do it. But so the thing is, okay, money. now thinking of it as a parent, money, money can't buy what you did for my child. That's right. So now, now you have it up here. You know what I'm saying? You, uh, your, your $20 million, <laughs> you want to take away a little of the pain, but no, it's not. Because right. that's a lifetime scar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the child ain't thinking about that $20 million. Every time they spend that dollar, you know what I'm saying? Man. You know what I'm saying? Every time they spend some money or see the money they ain't thinking about, then they go think about what happened to them when they was that age over at Mike's house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, where is there some validity to it? Did he? Did they blackball? You know what I'm saying? Damn, that was a bad one. 
That was black ball. Did they blackmail him? Blackmail. <laughs> nice recovery. Nice recovery. Like, blackmail him. Because they turned the guy yes, black balls. Yes. <laughs> Oh Tracy's God. like, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. And she's like, all right, this is stupid. But no, answer, answer this with you. I mean, for real. I, 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 you, 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 Fucking Layla. You, 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 you tune in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I appreciate Layla. that. But if your child complained about a situation going over my crib and might offer you $20 million, you say, okay, man, $20 million, I'm good. Or you can be like, you know, no, fuck that. You're going to jail. Mm-hmm. You know? That's me. Yeah. Not only you going to jail, and we're going to give $20 million, but you have to go to jail. You feel what I'm saying? I got it. Mm-hmm. But, um, man, it's just, it's, there's some people out here that will do that, though. You got to think of the world that we live in. There's people out here that will try to exploit you for, you know, uh, take advantage of the situation. Oh, right. Honey, now, now, did he touch your shoulder? Or did he touch your butt? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, well, I don't know. Or just like what Miguel it. just said. Ooh. Um, that, that's a good subject. That's a good one. Yeah, that. it's good because, real talk, mm-hmm. Miguel, and you, you say that because that could be it. that's a very possibility because there's yeah. situations in this world that's happening like that. Mm-hmm. We know firsthand. I, I know firsthand. Yeah, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So, I know that's firsthand. a very touchy one, but at the same time, that's. That's logical thinking. You very, know what I mean? Very, very, logical that's, that's, that's very logical thinking. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So like, and that's that's why I tell even even with my grandson. Um, again, when I took him to McDonald's, he said I had to go use the restroom. I went with him. Oh yeah. Wait, by the time. I ain't going with sitting there letting somebody else go in the bathroom with him or some other guy. Oh, but I sat right there by the sink, and I sat there. I said a guy came in. I looked at him, and I'm like, uh, uh-uh. the guy went went back outside the door. Nope. Don't come in here. My grandson's in here. Yep. That was it. There ain't no ants, it's a bus. There ain't nobody do no. The child should be safe no matter where he goes. Yeah. Be not careful. sitting there wondering what's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. I've seen too much. Stacy, exit off before you. I've seen back too in. much. I'm. I no no. I will protect any child that you know. Yep. Yeah, man. Again, that's a that's a very sensitive. Yeah, I'm not about that. I'm not nowhere. I don't, I, don't, I don't play with my baby, man. Like yeah, seriously, yeah. Like and the only place I've never I've left my son without me, like you know, when I went somewhere else, was this motherfucker out of prison. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Outside of my family, my aunts here. I know, cousins, he, you know he, he Malik Malik is a person that his son can't go no more than five feet away from him because mm-hmm. Mike will be sitting there and just look. Where you at, boy? Right. I'm not here, Dad. I want to hear you. I want to see you. Yeah, I want to know yeah, that I'm, you're there. I'm not playing about my And if because I'm using with Malik, you know his son will either you know go around. If he's not looking, I'm looking. Cause yeah. I ain't getting no kid out of my sight. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. Exactly. Oh, man. Yeah, my son a wanderer too, man. He is. He is. See a butterfly flutter all the way to US thirty one and shit. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'll follow the butterfly. I don't know where I'm at now. It says Drift. Yeah. <laughs> D-R-E-N. Disneyland next There's there's some really, really sick people out there. Yeah, there is. And it is amazing because it's here. It's not just out there or just with famous people. It was it's it's Part of family or part of friends. Don't say here and then. Point not to not here in your house. I'm saying. <laughs> <Let's see. Yeah. laughs> I'm saying here in Holland. Yeah. Here in Grand Rapids. Here in here, 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 here in the world. Here, it's in this state. The world. It's here. You know. Man. That's why you just can't just trust because oh this is my hood. Bro, I will, it's in your backyard. Right. It's in your home. Bro, I will fucking kill somebody, bro. I don't worry, bro. I I'm not even go. I will kill somebody over my kid, bro. And, like, here. and just like really thinking about this, going, going back to this Michael Jackson situation, bro. Like, there's not enough money to kill Trey Kennedy if I knew that in my heart that he had did something to my child. Exactly. There is no amount of money this man could have gave me, bro. There's no amount of money, bro. Like, it would have been both. But, like, bro, you're going to jail, and then I'm going to sue you. 
If it came down, oh, man, you ain't talking about your other man. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. Then you're gonna go to jail. Yeah, <laughs> that's good in that order. You're dead by yeah, you're right. 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 in jail. Right. Yep. Right. You gonna have you know? Like I said, you it's, know, a you know, it's a very sensitive subject for me, and yeah. I will get, I will, I'm gonna get real pissed off, but I won't touch that. Yeah. Just so. <clears throat> so that being said, you know. Rest in peace, Mike. <laughs> what the shit was that? Rest in peace, Mike. Rest in peace, Mike Jackson. Um, at the end of the day, you know, whatever. We wasn't there. I wasn't there. Ben wasn't there. Marcos wasn't there. Nope. Miguel wasn't there. <laughs> but, I wasn't there. But what I'm Tracy, saying, you weren't there you, either. Tracy was there. Um, <laughs> but I would just say this, man. Like, as far as your legacy with music, bro, I mean, man, I, I, I love I would like to guys up there. You know what I'm saying? And so R. Kelly was a great musician too, but he started peeing on 16 year olds. Um, with everything going on with Diddy, I'm pretty sure yeah, that Jim, R. Kelly's going to be Diddy a great producer. Soon. They're going to trade sales. Yeah, they're going to be bumped. R. Kelly come out. What happened to Busy, Busy Bone? Right in. Huh? So, what happened to Busy Bone? Oh, Miguel said what happened. What's going oh, on? Oh, yeah, because wasn't he kidnapped or something like that? He got busy. Is that, the one that's been, is that the one that's been ill? He was, but I think he's doing better. Let me see. I think so, but I'm not sure. I, got, I, I, don't, know who's, I don't remember who's who in Big and Bone Thugs of Harmony. But it's yeah, actually, they had a pretty good concert. Do what? They had a good concert. Where? In Grand Rapids. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. He didn't go to. They can, they can throw around on the money, but say what? <clears throat> oh yeah, that's okay. I did read about. Or, he was kidnapped and molested. And he that. was on America's Most Wanted. The guy that did it, yeah. Busy. Well, yeah, but I mean the the guy that did it probably was on it. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, I don't know. I don't really know what's on Busy Bone. I'm, I'm not saying anything new. No, they're what well, he was just talking about. Oh. He was on America. He was kidnapped and molested. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Damn, I'm gonna change the subject, Miguel. Hey, dude, I need some Puerto Rican rice, homie. I need some, I'm from my phone book. I need something Puerto Rican. Hey, I'm some, hungry. I need some Puerto Rican bluegills. Hey, she just needs a Puerto Rican. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Can we get in your freezer or what, bro? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got we got eight minutes for an hour. Oh, yeah. Right, that was good. We went over a little. But um, so I was, well, me and Tracy were talking earlier talking about this different thing different restaurants and um take my kids to uh not my kids my grandkids out to eat <laughs> i felt really bad i don't know why i feel bad but it was such, such a good oh, thing yeah. Hold on, let me... it was such a good thing because i took my grandkids out and um so we're all eating we you know we had pizza we had chicken strips we had fries and it was just like i told the waitress i'm like whatever they want they get if they order it you buy it you know you bring it to them she was like are you sure? I think I think the grandkids ate three times. Mm. Three times. Like, they eat like grandpa. <laughs> so, they're sitting there eating, and then the, the waitress comes up. She goes, who is this all in one bill? I'm like, yeah. So, I got the receipt. I look at it. I put it down. I looked at the kids. And I'm like, what should be the tip? What should be the tip? My oldest, I, 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 I kid you not, the oldest said, $100, Grandpa. And I was like, $100? She goes, not everybody has a fancy life, and not everybody can afford. And she probably needs some money, and um, she lives off of tips. How old is she? 11. Oh, wow. She's 11 years old. And she said this, I'm like, and then my grandson was like, yeah, Grandpa, because, you know, <laughs> You know, they just don't, they don't make that much money. So, yeah, I agree with sister. I think we should go and give her a good tip. So, fair enough. I write $100 on the tip. My granddaughter goes, can I have the receipt? Can I have a pen? Starts writing stuff. She put, God bless you. May God continue to bless you. I hope this helps you. Every child went and rolled some gun on the place. Oh, wow. That's wild. So, 
we get out, we put our jackets down, we're going to take off. My granddaughter goes, can I take a receipt to her? Go ahead. Of course. She takes it to her. She goes, hey, hey, thank you so much for helping us. She goes, oh, no problem. She comes back. We're taking up the wrong side of the door. And I just look at the waitress. She looks at me. She waits by. She looks down at the receipt. She looks at the other waitress. She puts her hand on her shoulder. Says something to this waitress. She turns around. Starts crying. Ooh. She, I don't think she made it like past the, the bar area. She kind of, I don't know, she knelt down <laughs> or what she did, but she got back up. She ran into the kitchen crying. Hmm. And it was just like, I look back and everybody in Russia is looking at me like, what the hell did you do? I'm like, oh, you're looking at her too. <laughs> <laughs> but it, my, you know, it, I'm not saying I'm made out of money, but when God blesses me, I'm going to bless somebody else. Right. So I told my grandkids, and my grandkids, you know, they learned from grandpa, right. bless somebody. Because you never know what a person's going through. Exactly. Whether it's a smile, whether it's a compliment, whether it's, you know, just a, a gesture. Somebody needs that. Because mm-hmm. you never know what the person's going through that day. Right. So having my 11 year old granddaughter go, $200 tip. 300%. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. All right. I'm not going to argue. Yeah. If God put that in your heart to say that to me, I'm just going to do it. You just did it. Did it. Oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah. So, it, you know, man. You change her, you, change it, her it's how you train or not. Oh, that's the wrong word. It's how this kids perceive who the parent or grandparent is and how they are. Yeah. Because kids are sponges. Oh, yeah. You know, and they will repeat whatever you do. And if you're generous, they'll know that they can grow up and be generous. And people, you know, that look that, that look that my granddaughter had when she gave the waitress that receipt and she looked back at me and she has this huge smile on her face Mm -hmm. and she came up and she just hugged me. Mm -hmm. She said, thank you, grandpa. That was awesome. I felt good. Yeah. Beautiful. <clears throat> so I don't know that waitress if you if you're down in Villagen tell her I said hi yeah that was awesome um, I was glad to bless her that's cool yeah, I want to go to Villagen now dude you know what <laughs> the burritos man it's two for two for what is it two for one? Oh, I didn't know that oh yeah two or three how's they close oh what do you mean I never I ended up eating there once in my life what's up Dominic but yeah, so it was. Um, That's awesome, man. That's good to hear, man. I'll... I do that to every, you know, no matter where I go. I, I always tend to leave bigger tips than what I'm actually paying. <clears throat> it's actually because, I mean, uh, I learned the history of tipping uh, some years ago. Mm-hmm. And what it came from is like the back in the, like, I don't know if you want to call them Victorian days, I guess. Mm. Where the. Um, like medieval times? Yeah, medieval times type deal. Yep. So. They would go what it would be is like the kings and queens mm-hmm. would, you know, when they would go into town to get their goods, their ales, okay. their milk, and all that, they would pay civilians not to walk in to tip the tipping. The really? Tipping. Yeah. yeah. That's so, interesting. Yeah. So that mm-hmm. was money to say, you know, you, no you, 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 you don't have to rob me. Here, I got you. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? We're just here to get some bread and some eggs and, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That is very and, interesting. Yep. And some get some pheasant and that. some fowl. <laughs> you know, Bottle, yeah, that? that's birds. Birds. Oh, yeah, cool, I've never heard of that. Get up on your medieval game. I don't you know where these medieval yeah, people. Yeah, fowl of the air. Yeah, birds of the air. Yeah. How did she know you don't? I don't pay attention She's to that era. Um, <laughs> I like the medieval times. Let's all go to Chicago to the medieval medieval uh, times. Or yeah, the restaurant, right? Yeah, it's a restaurant. It's a restaurant, the medieval I didn't even know that was even filled up. Y'all, 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 y'all go ahead it's over and, by Bond City. Y'all go ahead and record it for me. Bond what? City? No. There was no medieval black they got, people. They got the, uh, what do you call it? Joust. There was. There was no medieval black people. <laughs> they were slaves. Yes, we were right to the yeah. Open Black Knight. Oh, yes, there was. was Haven't you not seen? Yeah, I was just going to say. Martin that. Lawrence was a black knight. <laughs> Friends, Romans, country black men. <laughs> Let me go <laughs> ears, my dog. No, I think that'd be an awesome trip. Yeah, it would be cool. My name is Little Caesar's. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, what up, yeah, Dave? Yeah, I thought that was interesting, man. So, 
basically these waitresses, it's kind of like involuntary servitude, like for them to pay them, you know, two forty six an hour and then it's plus tips, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you can't, like me as a massage therapist, I don't depend on tips. They told us that in school, like don't depend on tips. Mm-hmm. There's going to be a little more times than not that you're not going to get tips. So, you know what I'm saying? That's why you charge your rate. Most people have they paid 60, 80 bucks an hour. You know, a lot of people are like, look, I just paid you 80 bucks. I, I don't have money to get tips, which is fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I never expect tips. But when I get them, it's like, okay, hey. Yeah, but. But, you know, that's the, that's the thing is, you know, some of these people, they, they are scrambling through their, their through their ashtrays and their cup holders just to find change to put gas in their, you know, their vehicle. I want to show Imagine this. what you can do if everybody just quit all this nonsense that you find on Facebook and just start doing what your heart tells you to do. Right. That's what the heart tells them to do. They just have a nasty, rotten heart. That's, that's true. What, that's why they put some of that bullshit there because that's that's the life that they live. That's, that's a what, mentality. That's a mentality. Yeah, it has to do. That it, what, what comes from the mind comes from the heart, bro. That's true. I guess, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That shit's all connected, bro. So that shows you mm-hmm. what kind of motherfuckers you're dealing with. By by their Facebook content, when they put all that crazy stuff on there, and you, you see where their life is at, like, that's what you're about, bro. Everybody knows. Everybody, everybody knows. Like here and in my family, if I have it, they have it. Right. You know what I mean? There's they, yeah. nobody can tell me any different. And, and even that, you know, what I'm saying that's fine, but it's just like you know, it's how you carry yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? You can be a yeah. millionaire, but you can have a rotten soul. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? I ain't got much, but I got a heart of gold. I tell you what. Yeah. Hey, that's bigger than anything, brother. Let's show this video that um, James, James just shared. Talking about 50 Cent. I just watched it, and it's freaking hilarious. So, apparently... Eric was on a welcome. Tina Gary. What welcome. up, Eric? So, 50 oh, Cent... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, my mom's... Hi! 50 Cent uh, threw this pitch, and it was really horrible. So, let's watch it. Yes. Pitch black skin. 50 Cent throw a pitch. Yeah. Oh my god, it made the national news. This shit was so bad. <laughs> Almost nobody looked good throwing a pitch. Anyway. Shit. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the hell? That was horrible. Oh Look how oh horrible god. that was. Where did you throw? You know, you know what yeah. yeah. They went to get milk and never came back. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. He to the cameraman. That is freaking what, hilarious. With a sidearm? Yeah, I guess. I know. Oh, he had open hand thrown it. That was horrible. His hand, his hand, his hand was open. Oh, Bro. was it? Yeah, he sucks at throwing baseballs. Damn. Yeah, that was horrible. That was a ridiculous shot. Maybe that's why he, he was throwing Diddy under the bus because he couldn't throw no balls. Right. <laughs> Oh, that was a good one, James. I like that one. Yeah, it was perfect. How about a good bird? Can I take your order? I hated that movie. Damn, bro. That movie was stupid. No, it wasn't, dude. No, it was. Okay, you know what? The original one. I was it. The original one was. The original was funny. No, it wasn't. Oh, the newer good burger you talk about was horrible. Both of them. Both of them. You want to watch it? Not really. No. Right. <laughs> yeah, I still, I still gotta watch the Marley movie, bro. I still ain't seen it. Oh, no, I got it. I mean, I've, 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 I'll give you my phone. If you like the medieval time, there's dancing. Give me, give me your phone. Yeah. Oh, but you just, you sent me the site thing. I'm just gonna. What is that? Well, no, I'll send you because you don't have to go out. It's about um. Oh, you just see there. Okay. A prince and his family. They're well off. They live in a castle, mm. and but they have um, but they're actually mean people because. They, they, they think they're better than everybody. They found him a wife to, to be his princess. Yeah. Wife. So he marries her and he's carrying her over the bridge and there's a dragon down in the pit and he just goes, sorry, and throws her down no. in the pit with the dragon. Oh, wow. And then yeah. she survives the dragon yeah. and later on in the movie she becomes the dra- dragon befriends her on mm. the same side. She got her. Re- she, she got her revenge. Re- yeah, she she wanted revenge. What movie was this? It's called Dancing. 
I gotta watch this. It's good. Oh, that's what you were watching. I'm not gonna give you my phone tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. 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 No, I'll give it to you. I'll do like games later. No, I'll roll. No, yeah, if you get, I'm gonna take your phone. Your phone. You have, no, I have three phones. Phone for that what? sounded so bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Have, I have two what? on working phones. If you find time, try to watch it. I'm gonna watch it. Trust me. I I love medieval times. There's another one called Crystal the Big Screen. You don't watch on the big screen. You don't watch on the phone. No, you it, you can mirror it to your TV. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna you try. have a I, I'm smart TV. You should be able to. No, you click on it where it has a little TV, and then you all the yeah. But if he doesn't have the program on his TV, the the phone won't work to his TV. Oh, it's the Samsung. It automatically has that. Oh, oh. <laughs> it has that. No, it's already on there. So when it it'll list TVs because it'll probably read all the other ones. Find your TV and click on and click on that screen on that button. I mean, but there's another movie that you probably would watch is Chris. Cristal de Marco. Cristal de Marco. Yeah, that is an awesome movie. Why is that so funny? It's it's a uh, I can't remember the act. There was an actress in it. Oh, that time. was the one I wanted to punch myself watching. Well, I'm just joking. <laughs> is it a medieval? One? Yes. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> but anyway. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and end this one tonight. Uh, somehow, I don't know what happened. We don't know. We don't. You we know just, what? We just waited today because it's like we were supposed to do some certain things and yeah, just, that didn't work out. That didn't work out. Thanks, James. Or who? Wait, who just did James that? Thomas. I'm gonna always used to say, the older you get, the better you get. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was the blacker the berry, sweeter the juice. It yeah, is. unless you're a <laughs> banana, it says you didn't finish reading it. Oh. Or wait, what did it say? I said you get better. What? You, the better you get, unless you're a banana, it says. It doesn't show on your end. Oh, yeah, my mother always used to say, the older you get, the better you get, unless you're a banana. Yeah. Then you're just rotten. Yeah. Well, Sylvia Segovia, how you doing? What up, Sylvia? Oh. You showed up late, girl. Yeah, you're really late. Really, you're already leaving and stuff. And no, I didn't break. Oh, I broke a monitor at work today. No, you didn't. On accident. What is did I was sliding through it? No, I was sliding the debt, the tower, because I was trying to get the serial number to put a price tag. Uh -huh. Well, when I'm sliding it, I didn't even touch the monitor. I wasn't even on it the monitor. Probably connected. The wires are probably crossed. No, they weren't even connected. It, I mean, it was, How but it was like not monitor? touching it. Because I can see the cords, and I wasn't even touching that part. So I'm pulling it forward so I can turn it. But as soon as I went like this, I saw the monitor falling at the corner of my eye, and I didn't catch it in time. Maybe it was a ghost. So, oh, you yeah. want to move my stuff? Yeah. So I was like, oh. and it didn't even fall that part. It literally landed on the keyboard. And I went to pick it up, and I was like, "Please don't be broken." I flipped it up, and I. So I'm waiting. Your paycheck is gone. No, it's sure. not. So, uh, so Tracy, so when you, you you're in. Sylvia is laughing because says, she... um, I, I can't afford it because he's paying for that that monitor. No, uh, uh, Sylvia is laughing because she knows what happened. <laughs> oh man, I did not break he that. Pushed it. <laughs> I didn't put it in reverse and run him over again. <laughs> I know, right? She said you that, it, that didn't happen. Yeah, sure Check the cameras. No. No, you have a good camera, so you probably edited it out. I can't get and to you that. You made it look like a ghost. Yeah. I put a, a hand coming through. Uh, but no, it was. Uh, she said she was going to get out and make fun of me about that, so. <laughs> But uh, thanks, Sylvia. <laughs> Give him a hard time. Yeah. No, it was. Uh, and the sad part is, it is it's a gaming monitor. So. Oh. Oh yeah. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Five dollar monitor. Um. Real quick, did you guys hear about shredded cheese that they're putting wood uh, slices of wood in? I did hear that. But no. Uh, but what the, hell is that the other thing? Bro, Parmesan to... cheese. I heard. Parmesan cheese. That was what it was. That what they is were that about? Wood what pieces. Is... Just so real quick. The same reason that Chick fil A just told everybody they're selling lab meat. Yes, I heard that. Chick fil A? Yeah, wow. Yeah, it's officially they're selling lab, lab meat, meat that's grown in the lab. lab. Test oh. tube. In a science room. Oh. Yeah, test tube chicken. But hold on a minute. Let's not say that in case it's a lie. And we don't get, we're going to get sued for. Defending. That's not no damn lie. How do we know that? We're not. We don't no, that's, that's not. That's okay, you know what? You, we can't get sued if it's already out there. 
Well, let's bro, find it out. Doing the obvious. If it's on the news, bro, it's bro, only going to be in the obvious. Yeah. Okay. Bro, they been yeah. selling lobby. Just running. Bro. You know, we just got a backer. Bro, you know, they been selling lobby. This is our opinion. Just like we yeah. give out, we ain't say no. I mean, well, we didn't say specifically that. <laughs> but the article is, <laughs> but the article is out there, bro. It's yeah, out, it's out I know. There. Just, just like still, the article yeah. with like my uh, what's that? The hotels have cockroaches and bed bugs. Oh There's, yeah. Uh, it's I have who had cockroaches and were infested. Yeah. There's uh, Denny's, which is why we got down. Which is Denny's is a freaking. You know what? And there's, I'm going to say there's that. Tons of hey stuff. man, I miss Denny's, man. You no. Kick rocks. When <laughs> me and Matt went and ate at Denny's, and he had, you know, those little bugs that had the little pinchers on the end. He had one yeah. of those in his. No, it was oh, from the, oh yeah, skinny yeah, yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. Those little skinny ones. It, has it a was little... a bug omelet, bro. He ordered. Yeah, it was in an omelet. It was I a protein what... omelet. Oh, that's right. Well, he ordered it that way. Oh, that's right. But yeah, but there's just so many things, you know, people say a lot about store uh, buildings and they say a lot about restaurants, they say a lot of, but you know what? It I'm happens. Gonna eat, huh? Regardless. Right? Well, I'm going to, oh yeah, I'm going to eat. If I I find too fast to even taste it. Yeah, I know, right? If I, if I find a roach in a restaurant, I'm not eating that motherfucker. That's what I'm saying. I still, well, that's I'm probably still, why Denny's not, got closed. No, if you got roaches, you, you got more problems. <laughs> Did that somebody brought him there? Yeah. Ah, so that, that's that was supposed to be crunchy. Was it supposed to be crunchy? What was that wing uh, that? Oh my god! Uh, but no, there's yeah. just there's stuff out there. We got to be careful what we what we put out there because we're just gonna repeat the story. Repeating the story just look it up. Better. Look it up, Matt. Yeah. Yeah. You can look it I up. Mean, up I, I just, look, okay, let's look it up, Matt. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, so there's just a lot of stories out there in Holland, mind you. There's just too, too many stories of things. Yeah, you know, friend request. Uh, the, I know. I, I I'll check, bro. I'll check it out. What's up, Astra? Uh, what is it called? Um, Chick Fil A Lab Lab Grown Meat. Let's see if it's. So you didn't even have to go to the store. It's sitting right there. Bro, it's true. No, no, no fight it. They were investigated. Bro, they've been they, but they've been accepted it though. The USDA yeah. been accepted this. Last yeah, that's right here. The United States Department of Agriculture. Has approved lab-grown chicken from two companies, Upside Foods and Good Meat, to be sold in the United States. Mm. But it doesn't say what companies are buying it. But the fact is that but it's out there. On Chick-fil-A's thing, this is from Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Our chicken is raised in barns, not cages. Our farms in the United States. Said in the, the United employee. States. No, this is from their website, our standards, it says. In accordance with the animal well-being standards and with no antibiotics and poor human medicine. Okay. No artificial or added hormones are used in the product. So why do your chickens weigh one pound on a sandwich? Yeah, how right. can your chickens have tattoos on when it's <laughs> I'd rather have Popeyes anyway. All right. Yeah. Let's see what it says about Popeyes. Oh, I love mom. <laughs> yeah, that's really shit. Stacey says, just say allegedly. So you, can, you can't get Yeah, that's true. We up in that thing. Allegedly, that's why yeah, it's that, that, no, no, that's no, right. we don't care. Yeah. We're still gonna eat. Exactly. They ain't gonna sue anybody. Yeah, man. Um, it's out there in the news. It's bro, it's out there though, man. The USDA been doing this for a minute, bro. McDonald's been using that shit too. Man. Right. Uh, well, I, I remember hearing about McDonald's. Yeah, bro. It's out here, bro. I mean, it's son not, of a bitch. They're not. They're not hiding this shit no more, bro. Like they, they, it was over for the. Well, I mean, it says it right here. Check your DM. Hey, hey Allie. Check your up, DM. Allie? James, so check your check your uh, DM of Malik's high school sweetheart. Who, mine? I didn't check my own. That's what he said. Who's I'm alive like... right now, James. Kick rocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> so this is oh, he probably did, actually. Oh, yeah, he did. It's good to see you, Russ. For real, man. Here it is. Here's um something that we're gonna share from Oh God. From um James Tunnel. Hello y'all. Is that it? I can yes I have to hairdresser. I like Barbara. What is that? Oh my god. 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 Oh Oh, the deal on the back. Oh, my. I was trying to figure out what the hell that was. I was watching the chicken. In the back, bro. Big Mama just got her stuff out there. 
Oh, what the frick? She just chewed up all of that meat off the bone. No wonder. Huh? Where's the hot sauce? The mm -hmm. arrow, bro, is so stupid, bro. You, you know what, James? You just jealous. James, that was amazing. James, you jealous? That was one of those ones. Oh, it's all right. Let me find out you've been texting. Hey, where'd Tracy go? I didn't realize she she's not. She had enough. Cool. Oh, yeah, she pro. Okay. All right, well, we're about to have enough as well. So we want to thank everybody for joining us tonight, even though we went a little bit longer than what we wanted to. But it's all good. Yeah. Well, really, well it's, cool. it's fine. It's fine. But uh, tune in on the 27th, this Wednesday. Oh, yes. We have K. Lou on the show tonight. K. Lou is going to be joining us Wednesday. K. Lou. <laughs> Coming in from Fenville. 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 What do they do, K. Lou? You know what I just was told about Fenville? Oh, they don't even have a Mexican store anymore. In Fenville? Yeah. No. They get uh, Casa. What is it? Su Casa was. In... What, the restaurant? It's not yeah, there anymore. It's not there anymore. So they moved to South Haven. So oh, is that where they went? Yeah, they went to South Haven. They got nothing? No, there's that Shell gas station and that BP. And they have a little grocery store, but that's about it. Yeah, bro. Mm. That's how cold. What's up, Angela? How you doing, lady? But yeah, there's um, we got Kaylee on Wednesday, and then mm -hmm. Friday, Friday. Know, we got Eric Lozano Eric. coming in. Oh, I thought I had a hair on. And he's gonna give us <laughs> give us all updates on where he's going. What is he doing? Big E in the building, baby. What up, Eric? Dolo? Um, I don't know, Eric. Are you coming? Yeah. He's watching. Guys, yeah, a couple times he brought a couple brought somebody with him. But oh yeah, are you yeah, coming yeah. with by yourself or what's going are you on? Coming with? <laughs> I mean, yes, that's what I meant. Dang it. I'm already at home. I'm already at home. Are you, are you coming by yourself or are you coming with some people, man? Yeah, are you yeah. Like your trainer or who? No, wait, hold on. What, what is what is he sharing now? Let's see what this is. What the he didn't even read that. Oh, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, okay. Uh, I knew it. I was like, what the frick is that? <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. So James got some serious issues, bro. I knew I you just saw like that. That. I knew you, you were like that, stuff. boy. I knew no, you were like that. Them fucking Dallas fans, bro. Oh, wait, hold on. I didn't put it on. I knew you were like that. Them Dallas fans. No, it was on this screen over here. I, I forgot to put it over there. But yeah, that was. Uh, what was it? Oh, you don't. I mean, do that. Kind of figured no, you're not going to put that back on there. No, I'm not. I wasn't going to. But, anyways, uh, here's me. <laughs> I'm I'm here. I'm me. I'm here. All right. Well, everybody have a good night, and we'll see see you on Wednesday night with Kalu as our guest, and we'll have a good night. All right, you have a good night. Safe out there, y'all. It's time for bed. All right. Yeah. Have a good night. Peace.